So my name is Hans-Oli Reiner. I'm the leader of the group Industrial Projects and Snow Sport in Davos. For the Olympic Games, we had quite a few projects, nearly with all the snow uh, disciplines. I think one of the most important so, or the biggest project is the one with uh, snow forecasting during the Olympic Games. Uh, my name is Rebecca Mott, I'm a PhD here at the SLF and I am especially interested in the spatial variability of the snow cover, the influence of the wind and snow and uh, energy balance of the snow cover and uh, therefore I have to do the modeling part of Swiss Olympic. When we glide on snow, we always melt a little part of the snow. That means the best gliding is on very little uh, water drops. So if we don't have these drops, we have a dry friction and the, snow, the, the ski doesn't run well. The easiest gliding is around minus 3, minus 4 degrees Celsius. As soon as the snow gets warmer, then we do have too much melting water. The contact area between ski and snow is getting much bigger. That means the friction is getting higher. In the, in the evening before before a competition day. We want to provide maps of the different areas with snow temperatures at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, until uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, when you see here we have, we have different parts of the forest, and especially here this forest is shadowing, and because of this we have quite low temperatures in these areas near, near the forest in specific times. Maybe in the afternoon, then it's uh, totally exposed to the sun. Uh, that helps them to, to find out, okay, temperature will, will increase or increase and, and do I have to have another ski then? Or, so that's, that, that helps. This is the ski lab in here. As you see here are all sorts of skis, <laughs> downhill skis. Jumping skis. If the ski is wrong, that can make uh, 30 positions. Huh? He's on the podest or he's off the podest. The wax and the roughness of the ski base, they're the two most important parameters. If you have a big roughness, you will have a, a lower contact area. If you have very little roughness, you have a bigger, higher contact area. Out of this needle, the, the water comes out. You're, making, you're building up a drop. And then the, here is like a video camera. And if the water drop is like a ball, then we have a, a good base. Here we can measure the, the mechanical stiffness, the flex, the, the hardness of the ski, torsion of the ski. We can also measure where the pressure goes through the ski. We push here the weight down. These are all little, little weights here. These are only cold laps. And this is a, a climate uh, chamber. So in here we can uh, have temperature from minus 5 to plus 35 and we can choose the, the humidity too. This is the, the round table, now is ice in it. Here we could put a little ski on, the whole thing can be turned. This is uh, the biggest institute um, we have in the world. That gives us the opportunity to, to having a few things which, which others can't have. The work we did with Swiss Ski in the last 10 years, I hope we, I hope they have some adventures now.